Hi, I'm Sam and we're going to go into session two now. So you should have already done your warm up and probably gone through your sun salutation as we did last time. I'm just going to go a quick run through a couple of each of the warm up um, exercises and a couple of the sun salutations. And then today we're going to cover squats and tabletop and four point kneeling, which are all key to um, Pilates and yoga. <coughs> Excuse me. So feet hip width, start with some nice deep breaths, reaching up and out. And again, breathing in and out. And then pelvic tilt. So feet to hip width, gently tilting that pelvis forwards and back, helping to loosen off lower back and then gently doing your heel lifts again adding those arms in as you do it don't forget your breathing or pulling that tummy button in towards your spine for your posture brilliant just a quick run through of the sun salutation so feet hip width into your roll down First of all, we're going to come onto hands and knees, taking the hands forward, lowering down and into your cobra. Down to the mat, coming back onto your knees, walking those hands in, tucking your toes under, just check their hip width, straighten the legs and rolling all the way up to the top and then the slightly more advanced version. Breathing in, breathing out to hinge, down to the mat. You can do a roll down if you prefer. Walking out into that press up hold, lowering down into your cobra. Down you go, tucking those toes under, sending those hips right up into the sky. Paddling those heels and then walking in towards your hands, straightening your legs, rolling all the way up to the top. So squats, the really important thing with squats is to get your feet hip width, hip, hip width apart, sending that weight back into your heels. So stick your bottom out behind you as if you're going to sit on a chair should be able to wriggle your toes the weight is into your heels breathing in to come up to the top so breathing out to come down use those glutes in your bottom as you come up to the top so breathing out so just do it nice and slowly and controlled remember quan quality rather than quantity Just do one more. Good. Then we're going to come down onto the mat. I'm going to go through tabletop, um, which is a key position for Pilates, and also four point kneeling, which is basically the same but upside down. So we'll come down onto the mat. <laughs> Just make yourselves nice and comfortable. And when you come onto the floor, just lift your bottom up and place it back down, which helps to make sure that you're still nice and in line. So in this position, breathe in, pull the tummy button in towards your spine. You'll notice your pelvis tilts back slightly. Lower back makes more contact with the mat. So that's really key. Try and hold those abdominal muscles in as you do the exercises. So breathing out, bring one leg up into tabletop, breathe in, breathe out, bring the other leg up into tabletop. So your legs should be a nice 90 degrees angle, knee is above the hip, okay? For those para-athletes, if you're in a chair, you can do a similar thing, lifting the knees up into that position, okay? really thinking about using your abdominals though because this is the key part so that's your base position 
from there you can add in doing some exercises by simply lowering your legs down and bringing them back up into tabletop. So breathing out, take the leg down, breathe in, breathe out, take the other leg down, breathe in. Breathe out, lift a leg, breathe in. Breathe out, lift the other leg, breathe in. Breathe out to lower, breathe in. Breathe out to lower, breathe in. Try and alternate the leading leg. So if you start leading with your right leg, like we are now, lower with that right leg first, and then start with your left leg. Just gives you an idea. So in tabletop, the other thing we often do is use our arms. So float your arms up towards the ceiling, palms facing each other. And just soften your arms into the mat and that's a really stable position. So we'll bring in some arm exercises with it in future weeks. But for now, we'll just gently float those down and again, come down out of tabletop one leg at a time. And roll over, come up into sitting, and then coming over onto all fours. This is for four point kneeling. So when you're on all fours, knees are hip width apart directly under your hips, hands are shoulder width apart, can be slightly ahead of your shoulders. If you glance down between your knees, you shouldn't be able to see your feet because they should be directly out behind your knees. Your head is looking down to the mat so hopefully there's a nice straight line. Bring your tummy button in towards your spine and almost feel as if there's a candle underneath your chest so you're just lifting away slightly. It should ideally have that nice straight back. And then from there you can add in some arms. So breathing out to take an arm out, breathing in to bring it back in, breathing out to take the other arm out, breathing in to bring it back in. So all that is moving is that arm. Try not to shift your weight side to side or press all your weight into the other side. So think about drawing that tummy button in towards your spine to keep you nice and level. Now we're going to try legs. So with legs, I slide the leg out long behind me and just lift it up a bit. I'm just going to move myself forward a bit so you can see the legs. So slide the leg out long, get to the point where you big toe is just about to leave the mat and just lift it up slightly, not too high, otherwise your back can start to arch. Then lower down, slide back in. Then other arm, other one. And slide back in. So again, alternate legs. And then, when you're happy with that, we're going to do opposite arm, opposite leg. That's really key for working these diagonal muscles across your tummy. So breathing out, extend out, opposite arm, opposite leg, breathing in to bring it back in. It's really key that the arm and leg move at the same time. So extend out and bring back in. Some of you know this as Superman. And it is quite a tricky one, but if you can master this, then you're doing really well. Let's do one more on that side. And then I'm just gonna come back into a child pose just to loosen off. And it really just gives you a chance just to loosen your wrists off. So if at any point you feel your wrists are a bit sore, and obviously perhaps just do the hands first, come back into child pose, give your wrists a little wriggle and a rest, come back onto all fours, do your legs, 
back onto all fours and then do opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, but when you're on all fours, really think about that back, yeah? So your back should be nice and straight. If you've got a mirror, that's brilliant. Or otherwise, if you've got a patio door that you can look into, or otherwise set up your iPad and film yourself doing it and then you can play it back just to see, check that you are in position. If, you're, if your back is slightly rounded, some people uh, are sort of rounded like this, then just walk your hands out a little bit further and that just helps to lengthen that back a bit. And then once you're in that position, think about bringing that tummy button in towards your spine and lifting up under your chest. Okay. So that's that one for now and I'll see you next time for session three. Bye.